Welcome to the Academic Woman Amplified Podcast. I'm your host, Kathy Mazak, tenured full professor, mom of three, and firm believer that the culture of academia needs to change radically. Women are revolutionizing academia within institutions that were not built for us. If you're ready to reject the culture of overwork, kick guilt and overwhelm to the curb, and amplify your voice to make a real impact on your field without breaking down or burning out, you're in the right place. And it all starts with writing. Let's go. Are you an academic woman who knows she needs to write more, but writing keeps falling to the bottom of the list? Do you feel overworked and overwhelmed, guilty when you're not working, and pretty sure that you can't sustain this pace much longer? That's because academia is a patriarchal system that wasn't built for women. But guess what? We're here anyway, and we're not going to do academia the way the bros and dudes do it. We're not going to overwork and burn out the way your advisor did it. Nope, we're calling BS on all of that and creating a new way to live academia. Academic Woman Amplified is a podcast about finding that new way. It's about showing academic women that we have the power to create the career and life we want. And it starts with putting writing at the center. Writing is the currency of academia. And even though it might feel like getting your writing done is completely out of your control, I'm here to tell you that it isn't. On the surface, writing is what this podcast is about. Finding time to write and getting your publications out into the world is the problem we're trying to solve. But more deeply, the conversations we have here are about the feminizing of academia. According to Catalyst.org, In the United States, Canada, Australia, and Europe, the higher up the academic ladder you go, the wider the gender gap. That means that when we look at the number of full professors, women are way underrepresented. In the U.S., women are less likely than men to achieve tenure, and women of color are even more underrepresented in academia, with Black Latina, and Asian women holding just 2 to 3% of tenured positions. And let me tell you, on Catalyst.org, they don't even mention Indigenous women. So I don't even have a statistic for that. So if that's all not bad enough, across the board, men make more than women. Across the board for professors at all ranks. This is upsetting, but not so surprising. The truth is that higher education was not built for women. We've had to fight our way in as late as the 1970s in some institutions, and the culture of academia is still a deeply patriarchal one. It assumes a full-time support person taking care of things at home while the academic toils away on nights and weekends. We think that writing is something we can only do with big blocks of time. But I know very, very few women who have big blocks of uninterrupted time. Academia has not figured out what to do with women's bodies. It hasn't figured out what to do with pregnant and breastfeeding bodies. It doesn't know how to accept queer bodies. It does not know what to do with disabled or chronically ill bodies. It doesn't even know what to do with bodies of people who just want to live their lives being both productive and calm. (laughs) Academia is a culture that squeezes women out or makes them give up altogether before they get tenure. Academic culture puts a brown body in the room and calls it diversity while simultaneously making brownness invisible. Who loses out when women are excluded from making knowledge, when people of color are left out, when knowledge making is only done by the able-bodied or cis? Humanity, that's who loses out. We have to do better. But how do we do better? Well, we change the culture of academia to include women. How do we change the culture? We change the people who make the culture from the bottom up. I am in the business of changing academia, one woman faculty member at a time. Through this podcast, my big, hairy, scary goal is to change how women experience academia. We accomplish this change by teaching academic women, 
how to create a sustainable writing practice without guilt and overwhelm, when and how to say no to unfair demands on our time, how to control our careers by putting research and writing at the center, how to build time-saving processes that let us focus our time on deep work, and how to connect with communities of support. Is changing academia a lofty goal? Sure, I know it is. I know it will take a big vision and lots of focused action to get there. But what is the alternative? We need women working on humanities problems. We need you feeling better, gaining confidence, and writing more. I can't wait to get started. Thank you so much for spending your valuable time loving on yourself and your writing by listening to this episode. If you'd like to continue the conversation, join the over 7,000 academic women in the I Should Be Writing Facebook group. Just go to facebook.com slash groups slash I Should Be Writing or search for I Should Be Writing inside your Facebook app. See you inside.